About a year ago, Tamron released the Lens Utility software for desktop computers, which basically allows you to customize all control elements of the new lenses and to remotely control the focus system. And now they released the Lens Utility as an app for Android smartphones with new features that are basically a game changer for all filmmakers. In this video, we're going to give you an overview over the app and walk you through all of the features. And we also shot a short film here in Scotland using the app to create better visual storytelling. In the Tamron Lens Utility app, we have two main categories. The first one is customization. On the new Tamron lenses, we have a focus set button and a focus ring, and we can fully customize them to our wants and needs. And the second thing is focus remote, which allows you to control the focus through your phone. We can, for example, use focus preset to focus on one focus point, which is great for photos when you're taking long exposure shots, or we can use AB focus to make nice and smooth focus pulls, which is very helpful for videographers. And all of that can be done with your smartphone without having to touch the lens while operating. One thing to note here is that software updates still remain a feature of the desktop version. However, the mobile app has all the possibilities as well as some additional features. To connect your phone to the lens, we need an OTG USB-C cable. OTG means on the go and is a very fast, reliable and stable connection. We first need to download the Lens Utility app from the Play Store. Then we can connect the lens to the phone with a cable. On some devices, we may need to activate OTG in the settings first. And then we're good to go. Let's take a look at the customization possibilities. We can set almost every function to the focus set button. It could be a switch between autofocus and manual focus, but we can also use it to set up a focus preset. That is very helpful for long exposure photos, for example. Sometimes we use very strong ND filters that are so strong and dark that the autofocus system can't focus on the main subject anymore. In this case, I will just take off the ND filter, focus, and set that focus point as focus preset on the button. So then we can put on the filter again, and if we press the button, everything will be in focus the way we predefined it. And that makes everything a lot easier. With just a click of a button, our subject is in focus, even with the ND filter that's too strong to see through. Basically, you can set every function to the focus set button that you can also put on the customizable keys on your camera. And you can set it all up within the menu of your camera. But it's not only the focus set button that you can fully customize. You can also customize the focus ring. For example, you can change the turning direction. Some people are used to turning it clockwise, others prefer to turn it counterclockwise. And you can all set it up within the app. We can also change the focus modes from non-linear, which is set as standard, to linear. What's the difference? The non-linear focus changes the focus more the quicker you move the focus ring. So to get from the closest to the furthest point, you don't need to turn the ring very far, you just need to turn it quickly. That's very helpful if we want to focus very quickly on your subject. But for filming, we usually want to use the linear focus. The linear focus changes the focus exactly in the way that we turn the focus ring. A linear focus is especially helpful when you're using a follow focus or some other device to focus externally. With a linear focus, we can also change the rotation angle of the focus ring. If I want to focus very precisely, I usually set it to 360 degrees. Then I need to turn it one full round to get from the closest to the furthest point. If I want to do it more quickly, I can also set it to 180 degrees or 90 degrees. What's also very interesting is that we can change the focus ring to be an aperture control ring. With that, we can control the aperture directly at the lens, like it used to be with vintage lenses. We can also use that for filming, for example, to change the exposure to make it brighter or darker. That sometimes helps to make a nice transition. Actually, we use that effect quite often in the short film that we shot here. Let's take a look at the second big feature of the app, which is focus remote. The AB focus function is a game changer for filmmakers because it makes focus pulls so much easier and smoother. In the app, we can set up up to three focus points and we can focus on them just with one click. The difference to the desktop version is that we can set up the speed for the focus pull anywhere between immediately and 99 seconds. Especially longer focus pulls are very hard to perform by hand. This feature is especially useful if we want to change the focus from one subject in a scene to another one or to guide the eye of the viewer from one part of the composition to the other one. 